kind of came from a conservative guy. Um, I don't, I've seen, I actually, go ahead, because I've seen a lot of conservatives, I guess that that's the uh, right side. I've seen a lot of people low-key siding with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was going to say there was a guy that sided with her, and then, but his reason was that. The transgender yeah, dude? You talking about Ben Shapiro? Not, no, not Ben. I don't know who he was. I seen Ben I, tweet about too. No, nah, fuck it, man. No, nah, man. I don't give a fuck, man. It should be no, it'd be no reason that we suspended somebody for weed and we got a full ass grown man fucking. I don't call, call it transgender. Yeah, he's a transgender, but this man should not be lifting with women. Sorry. Or this woman should not be lifting with biological women. It would be political. Correct. Right. Um, Sorry. I want to. Yeah. Right, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> call, me, call me a transphobe or whatever, bro. Like, right? What, I are, think, what are y'all talking about? Men are. This man is. This dude. This person. This female. This woman was born a man. I right. don't give a fuck how many testosterone pills or estrogen pills you give this person. They're gonna have the body mass of a man. If they lift the same as what these uh women body uh, weightlifters are lifting, guess what? They're gonna have the strength of a man. So so okay. It don't so, matter. Sorry. So a little, so little backstory. A little backstory. So um. In New Zealand, there was there's a trans woman trans woman athlete who is competing in weightlifting. Um, backstory on her: um, she is, I think, forty something years old. Previously competed in a men's weightlifting competition, then became trans woman, um, and then now she's ended up on the Olympic. Now, the person who she beats out for previously held the record for New Zealand, and she. Um, she came on an interview and I saw her and she was like heartbroken because she was, you know, training to compete in the Olympics. And then she got a call one day that said, Hey, somebody broke your record. And she was like, what do you mean? Somebody broke my record. Like my record's been in place for a very long time. Like I'm slated to compete and represent my country in New Zealand. And then she's like, okay. And the person who told her was like, Oh, this is such is a trans woman. She, she, you know, broke your record, and she's going to be representing us. Uh, no, that's just them. Let him out. Okay, so. That's just not fair to women. So, so the, uh, who, I, I, I forgot the name, but, yeah, so now there's the trans woman that's representing New Zealand who broke, who previously competed in a men's weightlifting, and it's like forty some years old. Usually, when it comes to the Olympic, your peak is like twenties. Your twenties, maybe early thirties, mid thirties, early thirties. But like yeah. once you're thirty two, that's like past your prime. Like mm-hmm. that's it. Like once you're thirty two, you're you're not going to be competing at uh, in the Olympic. Most mo- most likely, you're not. So yes, so f- a person gets you know. Deemed for smoking marijuana and not being able to ban, uh, not be able to compete. But another person who previously wor- uh, competed in a men's weightlifting competition go and shattered go a woman's record, destroyed it, and now compete in the Olympic. See, so thing is, I just I can't I don't know like like bro, who, it's not it's not fair to women. It's not fair to women. Women we we look at the women's soccer players. We look at what the WNBA, what the women there are trying to do. And we get when we look at even with like Simone Bliles and like a lot of these big gymnastics are trying to do to make the pay better for women. It's not fair when you do this. These women work so hard just for some somebody who who believes that they were they should have been born a woman decides to go get a sex change and go and just shatter every woman record. And yeah, I've seen the fucking articles. Yeah, I know not every fucking dude that decides to become a transgender and become a woman goes into women's sports and dominate yes i know that but majority of but them not, do it, it might yeah. not even be a majority it could be a minority it's yeah. not fair right it's not fair to women because they get the short end of the stick because guess who's not affected by this men we're not affected by this i yeah. give a fuck we can go play football basketball all these other sports and guess what we still gonna dominate this transgender dude especially if they take in these estrogen pills Right, they're not gonna have the same intensity as us. Yeah, no offense to women, I don't want to sound misogynistic, but like, come on, man, we it's biology. Like, I don't, I don't give. A fuck uh, yeah, about I think that. people, sorry, I think people are disregarding my biology and just kind of going with like the like, social. If we want equality terms nowadays, if we want equality for transgender people, then make them their own division. Why, why do they not have their own division? Right. It could be a transgender women's division, a transgender 
What the fuck did I just say? It could be a transgender women's division. I mixed both of the and words. And trans together. men. In the trans men division. Right. Like, because, why do you have to put them... Because right right now it's not fair because there is no trans men competing in any men athlete yeah, it's competition. No, it's it's no, only trans because, women. And, and guess what happens if a woman was trying to be... If a woman decided that she was born a man or she feels that she's a man and she goes and gets that sex change and all that shit to right. become a man. And guess what happens if she goes to the men's division? She's... I don't want to sound fucked up, but she probably not. They, he's probably not going to do that good. Right. And I don't Sorry. think, I don't think we're trying to be like, if we're going to be all inclusive, they need or anything like division. that. I think we're just going based on biology and going based Man, on the study of humans. We're and not being transphobic, but fuck all that. It's not fair to women. I'm yeah. sorry. It's not yeah. fair. Not fair to women. All right. So, yeah. So Dude, women are only like a hundred years out from being able to vote or like, not that long ago from being able to vote like a hundred or so years from in certain countries and being able to buy property without a man having to right. be married to a dude. Like it's not fair to women, all the shit they work for. And all of a sudden these dudes could just be like, Oh, I want to be a girl and come right. into their sport and just take everything that they worked hard for. It's not yeah. fair. Well, I th- and I, and I, and I think this is new. And I think when this topic comes up, it's very difficult for anybody to talk about it. And there's a lot of angry men, rightfully so. But the only people who can actually make mm-hmm. a difference is the women that are competing in the sports. But, yeah. So eventually, you know, if they don't, if they're okay with it, then they're okay with it. But eventually, I think they should be okay with it. Yeah, oh, and and if they're not okay with it, I think within the next you know few years when this when this thing's real because it's very new and nobody really know how to handle this situation because it's kind of hard to handle this situation. Okay, but it's a slippery um, slope. I know it. I I'm I'm because I'm agreeing with you. Is it is a slippery slope? But the only people who can actually make a difference is if you know a coalition of women gets together and you know Joanna decided Man. that this is wrong or whatever the case might be. Joanna Man is an actual movie. People can go back and watch Homeboy who said fuck it. And make it to the NBA, so I'm gonna become a woman and go play in the WNBA. And he was destroying them, dunking and everything. Yeah. That's an actual movie. I'm not saying that every single person that believes that they mm. should be that, or let me use the right words. I'm not saying that every single person that is going through a uh, damn, what is the right word? Transform transformation. Yeah, transformation. Yeah. Not every single person that's going through a transformation is a piece of shit and just doing it. Maybe even this this uh this young woman in New Zealand. Well, wait, maybe let me she chime really in. like just wanted to be a woman and because wait. she's a woman now she can't compete in the men, but this wait, creates wait, wait. a slippery slope for people who want to Can I say something? Can I say something to your point? To your point is that there uh, within the last couple of months we have heard a lot of stories where they have came out and said that they're a trans woman but never disclosed it at in advance. So it's like people didn't know. Exactly. So now, like two, three years into the sport, it's like, oh, you, you're a trans and, woman this whole time. And okay. Not even that. They might be trans women living out the truth. And if they are, I'm proud of you, more proud to you. I'm glad that you're living out your truth. But as we get deeper into this, it's gonna be fucking assholes and piece of shits who are gonna be like, oh well, I can't survive in a man sport, so I'm gonna just go ahead and become a woman so I could just dominate women's sport. It's gonna happen. Right. It's people in this world that are piece of shits. I'm sorry. Like we know this, we all know this. Yeah, it's, it's it's inevitable. It's literally inevitable. Yeah, and so with that being said, do you want to tie into the next uh topic with the whole protest in L.A. happening with the We Spa thing? Oh my God, I don't even want to talk about that, man. That shit was stupid to me. Do you want to explain it? So, it was a dude that identified as a woman. Who didn't even, he hasn't even had the operations. He still has his penis. And he went to a wee spa in LA and was in the women's change room or whatever, walking around with his pee pee out. Right. Because it was a spa. So it's kind of like, little a, girls there. it's kind of like a gym's there. locker where you can yeah. actually walk around. Yeah. So it's not like, yeah, a, what just are you a, doing? If you, if you identify as a woman, go ahead. But if you got the operation, you don't have a penis no more, go ahead. By all means, go into the women's locker room. Nigga, you have a dick. What are you doing? Yeah, and I think the woman who uh, recorded the video said that may there's kids in there. So like, there's kids as, in there. If, parents, I, if my girl, if 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 my girl went to that spot and she was there with my daughter and she texted me and said, "It's some dude that says he's a transgender walking around the girls' restroom with his dick." I guess what I'm gonna do when he leave that gym? Punch him in his fucking face. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Yeah. Like, um, like let's, I, like let's let's be realistic. Like, if you want to be transgender, there's nothing wrong with being that, but. But fam, I think you if you dick. do commit it, fam, then you, you, gotta, you no, no, fam, no. Like you could be going through the operations, you could be getting your operation soon. You could identify that's more power to you, but you have a dick still. 
What yeah. are you doing? Why are you going in a female's dressing room? Right. And that I shit think, is unacceptable. So, so this whole thing sparked like a a major protest, and I think there was like a lot of you know. Uh, that shit made me mad. There's a lot of shit happening, and so I don't I don't know as to like the solution to this is because like do uh, on one end do we say yes and you know surrender to all nope. the analogy on this nope. side or nope. on another end do Fuck we no. do we fight back so hard you know so it's kind of hard to find like no, it the has common to be a compromise ground. right and the compromise has to come from both sides but it needs to come more from the the lbgt community because you guys want to be so accepted and oh it moves gosh. so fast, it's kind of hard Man, to catch people on. People think I'm a homophobe. Y'all, y'all want to be accepted so bad, and there's nothing wrong with that. Y'all could be accepted, but stop pushing your shit on people who don't want to fucking be around it. If they don't want to be around it, you can't force people to want to be around it. You can't force racist white people to want to be around fucking black people. You can't force people to want to be around people they don't want to be around. So why are you, why do you force people to be around you and have to, and I'm not saying accept your gayness or whatever it may be, but you come, you can't be doing shit like this. I'm sorry. Yeah. You can't. I don't know. I think you can't. It, it's not even, I don't know. You can't, bro. It's come on now. If he uh, had a vagina, I'm using scientific terms. If he had a vagina, if he already went through the operation, no, nah, I don't got it removed. Right. And he identifies a woman. Even if you know, he's a transgender, then I would say that she was wrong. And right. that's when I thought when I first seen the video, I assumed it was a transgender dude that already got everything, the operation, the test. This dude still had a penis. Only his his thing was that he was already taking the hormone pills. Right. But you still have a penis. Right. What are you doing? So I think nowadays, I, so the the spa came out and kind of made a uh, a statement saying that, you know, we're just obeying by L.A. law, which is. Uh, inclusive and uh, okay, well, so they need to make transgender person, bathrooms. So I think the I think the question is that like so does everybody get to um, identify with anything nowadays? Okay, so it's, it's kind of it's it's a slippery slope because like if you let that happen now, any, fam, anybody could identify as fam, any no, fucking any, thing. No, no, no. Let's not even. We don't even got to take it that far. This man or this woman that is going through her her transitional phase to become to change from a man to a woman. Right, but they still have the man organs is identifying as a woman. All it takes is some fucking creep to go in there and say that I'm identified as a woman. It's not going through nothing. I just wants to see women naked with his dick out walking around in the woman's bathroom. Right, or women's changing area. And then that's also, all it takes. And also now there's people who are trying to identify as other culture. So it's like now you're born <sighs> co- one culture, and but you're no. identifying as a different culture. You know. No, he's so an is idiot. That no. Co- is that cultural no. appropriation no. at his max, or no. is that not? That's the stupidity. It's a slippery slope because when we when we when we started off, it was just LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. I think that was all the right, acronyms. Right. Yeah. And then we started adding other shit. And then like, I it's mean, yeah, it might have just there. be on social media. Well, queer is still the same. Like yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a ahead, broader ahead, term. Ahead. But then you start seeing on social media, you see motherfuckers identifying as bullshit. That's not real. Right. Like, like I've seen, somebody was I've that. seen documentaries and articles of people identifying as like fucking video game characters and dragons and bullshit. And I don't know if they was trolling, but like people are really doing shit like that, right? This the, the stupid idiot you talking about the Korean nigga that said he was fucking he's British. The, the British dude that said he's he was British. fucking Korean, right? Like by the way, talking by the about, way, nigga? on another note, that man needs his money back. The surgeon fucked up. No, fuck his money back. I no, think, he do need his money back. I think, I think he's a therapist. I think as an Asian man, I'm a little bit sided as to the way they make his eye. Eh, that's no. not how we look, bro. No, that's Asians not how should we be look. offended because, yes. I'm not made, offended. Whatever it is. No, you should be offended. Saying, this, this, man, yeah, this man said he went to be Asian and fucking got his eyes. Sl- 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 I mean, we do have tight eyes. I'm, Let's be honest. That's not the fucking point. We have tight eyes. Not I'm, the, going, I'm not offended. Not I'm point. not offended. No, that's not the point. That's not the point. Not I know Asians that don't have tight eyes. I have tighter eyes than most Asians that I know. That's true. I'm, that's uh, not the I'm, point. I'm just like, making a joke here. No, I get you, what you're saying, but that's yo, not the point. Like whoever the fuck the doctor on? was, that doctor needs more practice. Did, no, yes, maybe he, he doesn't have enough no, practice. Fuck that. Maybe need, that was no. his first first no, dr- sur- no, surgery no. of all. He should time. lose his license. That doctor should lose his fucking license for even agreeing. Yes. What the fuck are you doing? Right. Yeah. Like what is what is the world coming to? Yeah. What is the world coming to? 
Let's be I, honest. I don't wait. What, what how does that even happen? You go to the doctor and you're like, I want to be Asian. And he goes, All right, I'm gonna stretch your skin out Fam, this and can't make speak you look Korean tight. Save his fucking life. Oh yeah, you're speaking English. Hi, lad. What's up, mate? I call me Korean. I can't have my British accent on, Big but it's wild. I don't even know what to believe anymore. Mother Nature is going to kill us soon. Our world is just wild. Mother Nature is going to kill us. This is, what For did, a second, what did, what did I Thanos looked, say? I, what did Thanos say? Yeah, we snap need to the kill finger. 50% of us, man, because this shit is ridiculous. You know what? That, ain't not, that might not be an issue. We can just, know, Thanos, man. come down and just snap and the I don't, And let's preface this. I don't have a problem with gay people or transgender. If that's what you want to do, like, it's all good. But when people try to take advantage of it, that's where I'm like, come on now. Like, right. You can be accepted without having to try to, to take advantage and make everybody just conform to what you want. My, that's my whole thing. I think, I think my, I think my thing is I'm, I'm more willing to, uh, um, understand and 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 try to get on their side. I I think we just need more time. I want to. No, I, I want I think, to. I think we. Just and I'm need, not. I'm not it's think, not that I'm not on their side. Wait. I, yeah. I just think we need more time. Like it's kind of hard to like wrap this thing around your head if you don't believe in it. So like for for uh trans or for them to, you know, always expect another person to agree and like go on with the flow and exactly. follow the trend every single time because there's a lot of things like I just learned what demisexual was like last week I didn't even know what demisexual Man, was People so might there's a lot of ter- yeah there's a lot of terms and analogy thrown out Damn. and sometimes like we don't really have time to look it up mm-hmm. and none even that when none of that bullshit. I don't pay yeah, attention e- to that. even then even if you look it up it takes time to it's still understand it, it wrap it around your head and then trying to figure out okay and also I think in this world, there's seven, seven and about to be eight billion soon. It's very hard. Like you don't have to convince anybody to believe the same you believe in. I think as long as you stick to your truth and don't force that upon anybody else, then I think life will be so much better. I don't think we need to really shove anything down another person's throat. You know, let me think. Let me. Okay, so let me try to play this. I so see you can argue that it's being hypocritical. Hip, whoa, hypocritical because that's the same thing we was doing with the uh, we're like the civil rights movement and all that. We're basically trying to force it on white people so they can accept us, which they should, anyways. But I don't know, it's sometimes, and it's not all people. And I and I know gay people, and see, I hate when people say that because that doesn't justify anything, but I know gay people that like will like agree with what i'm saying they're like yeah uh sometimes people from our community be overdoing it sometimes like you could be gay without doing a lot of the the extra stuff that certain people do in the community right I, did, I, I think all, all all this is is it just takes time you know like you don't have to lash out anybody um it all just takes time to find the common ground but in the meantime if you can't find the common ground. That's perfectly fine. We're all humans. We don't agree to everything. Is. As long as you can say, yo, I agree to disagree, but as long as we be civil, that's, that's all it really is. You know, for me, for me to end my point on, I think it's, I think it's simple as if we're going to, if we're going to include trans people as a nut, is that the correct term? Trans? If we're yeah. going to include transgender, transgender people as another gender, then why don't we just go 100% with it and give them their own, the same way we have stuff for men that's only for men and only for women. I don't understand why we don't just go 100% and do the same thing with them. Give them, give trans men, give trans women their own, their own restrooms, their own sports divisions, stuff like that. Things that we, that, that are segregated specifically for men and women. Right. Cause I think, I think a lot of people, are now identifying as non men, non male or female, but then that somehow to include themselves as See, a man. So that's the part I don't like. Yeah, because so, you, I don't give a fuck about that non binary bullshit. You are either a man or a woman. What the right. fuck do you think you are? You don't got both biological parts, right? Anatomically, you don't have a penis and a vagina. You have one, whether you do a sex change or not. You have one. Unless you're uh, hermaphrodite, I'm, that could be the wrong term. I don't know. I I'm I'm, I'm but, like, all lost of terms at this like, point. At some point, it's people just are identifying as just 
Like, come on now. Yeah. You're either a girl or a boy. You could be gay. You could be bisexual. You could be a transgender, but you're a girl or a boy. You're a man or a female, a, a right. man or a woman, a male or a female. But there, it's as simple as that. I'm a little confused. There's some that are like trans women that consider themselves as non-binary. So they call themselves they or them, but it's yeah. I don't know. I'm Actually, gonna ask a, uh, I'm gonna find somebody that I'm pretty sure I know somebody that's probably trans. I'm gonna find them and ask them about this because I don't get it. I don't get it, and maybe I would I like to, to be more. I probably knowledge should be more, more educated on it. Maybe I need to find somebody in the. L- I know also, a lot of people in the LGBT community. Maybe I need to find somebody I know and really ask them about this and have them sit down and educate me. Because right. maybe I'm just being ignorant. Right. I don't. I don't. Right now we're just going based on biology. So. I think sometimes I think when we hear them talk, biology. it's not really based on science or biology or anything like that. It's very, it's just based on social belief. So it's yeah. like I believe this, therefore you should believe it. I believe. It's like, I, uh, I mean, it's I kind of hard. I could be, and I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But I believe outside of the, the trans women and females and biological males or females, I believe all that other shit is just bullshit. And I, people might hate me, and I might be considered ignorant. But come on, no. I mean. If you're trans, you're trans. Oh, well. I mean, hey, yeah, you're trans. I'm happy for you you're living out your truth. But what is all this non-binary fucking, all this other, I, I got, I don't know. I got to, someone has to school me on it, maybe. All maybe right. that's all. Anyways, going on to the next topic, because you got real heated when you sent me this DM. Um, And it was, um, it was about with Jeff Bezos. And I want to talk about it because. Wait, which one were we talking about? Uh, With the Jeff Bezos being rich and, you know, tax the rich oh, and all that bullshit. That. But I want to talk. Well, I 